Mm-hmm. Yeah, just his ability to just stay in there. I didn't think we could throw it in the ocean for the most part tonight, and um, he just stayed with it. He could have hit that last one that went in and out. That would have cut it to two, and I think we still would have had the two for one in our favor. And um, even though I used my timeouts, we were trying to manufacture possessions without losing time, bringing it down the floor. So um, I, I just like the fact that <clears throat> he just stayed with it. It wasn't our best shooting night, but the one thing we've always said to our guys, like make or miss, you got to let it fly, shoot it with confidence. And, and he did that. And defensively, I thought he was um, pretty good. We had some mishaps on holiday going under on screens, especially in the first part of the game. Um, after that, I thought all of our guys locked in a bit better. Uh, but offensively, we just couldn't knock down the shots we needed to. Yeah. Is he surprised when you pull call the play for him now? Or is he... I think so. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't talked to him about it, but I'm like, why well, have guys in the gym working on stuff if you're not going to trust them in situations? I mean, obviously, if you know, we had our starters out there and normal rotation guys, that play probably goes to somebody else. But I think it's important to show that kind of trust um, because you never know when you're going to need a guy in a game that we have coming up. And, and you want that guy to be able to, you know, have confidence on the floor and not be out there second guessing. And um, so I'm, I'm just dumb enough to run plays for guys that most people tell me I shouldn't run them for, but I think it builds confidence. Mm-hmm. I think the thing that I'm seeing with him is he's um, not bringing the ball down. Um, when he catches it in the shot pocket, he keeps it there and, and it's all legs and follow through. Whereas before, I think it would have been a wind up to a shot. Um, and he's worked on it. You know, Coach Galsey spends every day, every minute with ish working on all that stuff um but in our economy the corner three is probably where he's going to get a shot when he does get in and so he's got to be efficient from that spot i just like his confidence um you know he has that he i've seen it with european players when they catch the ball they drop it and then take off and he was doing that tonight and i was like it reminded me of the national team um, that kind of uh, move, but I, I like his size. I, I, I tried to put him in pick and roll situations just because he's got a bit of, he's got like a rhythm to his pick and roll. He doesn't, he kind of goes the speed limit, if you will. You know, he doesn't go too fast, not too slow. He just kind of stays at his own pace and he's big enough to keep guys off or away from the ball. And then I like this confidence to shoot tonight. I, I was impressed with that. So you know, he, he knows that he's got a lot of work to do to become a rotation player in this league, but he's got the tools. I just, I'm not, I haven't worked on that skill of grading crowds, but I'll, I'll work on it. I just, I just, th- I think our crowd is loud all of the time and it, it gives me juice. Um, but I, I know how crazy it was in here last year. And I remember it becoming like a national thing where people were talking about when you come to the Valley, it's going to be crazy here. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not quite sure how much louder they can get, um, but I'm sure uh, they will. Um, it's just a cool place to play. Yeah. It was huge. I almost put him back in there. Um, I mean, the competitive side of me wanted to get him back out there, but I I thought we'd gotten exactly what we wanted to get out of him. Um, I wanted to get him in basically like seven minute spurts. It actually ended up being a different um, time period, but we got him to the number, at least the number that I felt like he needed to, to play tonight just to, keep his conditioning and 
all of that. I think we're, we're probably going to decondition a little bit, but I think most of the, you know, playoff teams are going to decondition some just because we're going to be off for, you know, a week or so. Um, I don't think it'll hurt us at all, but I'm, I'm grateful that we were able to get him to the minute total that we did. Yeah, we talked about that today, just trying to plan the week. Um, we're going to try to use the same template. We can always pivot if we feel like we need to, but it's almost set up identically uh, the same way it was last year. And um, we're going to try to have a blackout day tomorrow. And, and then even if we have another off day, guys are going to be in the gym just because they, they know we're going to be there and they can get work in. And then we'll, we'll try to plan the week. Uh, the same way that we did last year. I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, I guess it, it is. It's just not something that I, I use as a marker. You know, I'm not thinking about guys getting hurt. I think you just have to coach and try to be as smart as you can. But I am grateful that we got out of it healthy. Um, and we were able to, you know, see some guys play and get confidence that you probably wouldn't see play those kinds of minutes, you know, like Ife and Ish. Um, but yeah, health is important. I just, I just don't think that way. Um, I just try my best to coach and win the game. With a guy like Mikhail, you talked about how much he loves to play. It's is it difficult to get him to agree to come back out of there, or was it kind of understanding of him? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I'll say. I, I could crack a joke on Mikhail right now, but I'll just I'll leave it alone. Um, Mikhail wants. I mean, when those guys come out of the game, they I, I know if he played forty seven minutes, he'd be wondering why he didn't play forty eight. Like that's Mikhail, you know. Books the same way. Like th those guys mumble more at me when they're coming out of the game than any players I've ever coached, and uh, I, I love it. I love guys who want to play. I don't want guys racing to the bench, hiding. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the fact that all of our guys want to be on the floor. Coach, with the last three weeks, the number one seed being locked up, you've had a lot of these sure. rest nights and all that. What kind of concern do you have with the rhythm uh, starting with 3 1? Because you can't really get you know, in and out of rhythm to just start the playoffs. I, I don't think it's, I wouldn't say big deal, but I think if everybody's playing with the same cards you know what I'm saying we're all kind of finishing about the same time and all the playoff teams pretty much are going to have pretty much a week off now it's a little bit different for us because the team we're going to play will find out Friday but I think our guys have, I thought the Utah game gave me confidence that we could rest guys and then they come right back and play Suns basketball um, and that was one of the main keys for us allowing our guys to rest tonight when we saw them bounce back the way that they did with a couple of days rest um, we had big time juice going down the stretch. And so I'm not as concerned about it. Um, we're going to have a couple of scrimmage days where we just come in and play. And um, our guys are, you know, they've been here before. And I think that that helps us as opposed to last year. We didn't know what, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I hadn't even won a playoff round in my coaching career. So now we at least have an idea. We're just going to try to be as smart as we can and plan accordingly and try to do what's best for the team. And we'll figure out days to play and try to make sure guys get the level of conditioning they need. And they, they always talk to us. They'll tell us um, the days they, they feel like they need to play more. And we'll extend practice on those days. Is a mindset change or explain to us where the mindset is heading into the playoffs? Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not like some old wise playoff sage. I can sit up here and, you know, wax eloquently about you know, <laughs> the step by step process. I, I don't, I just, I have a level of humility for the process and that, that forces me to work harder and, and to ask more questions and to get feedback because I'm, I'm not that. You know, I'm not that grizzled when it comes to playoff um, basketball. So I'm, I'm still learning. And so that that forces me to work harder, forces me to uh, have a bit of humility about this process. And that, that's that's where I leave it. Um, I could sit up, sit up here and say, hey, we did this last year. So we know 
that's just not who I am. I think we got to go through the process and, and grind it out and, and, and just work our tails off to, to try to get every inch we can. Yeah. Early on, even had that thought, but what do you think about him? He's been my pick for coach of the year. I mean, if you look at, I think they started one and 12, one and 13, and then to keep that thing together and get those guys in the play in, I mean, that's amazing. You know, now you may say, oh, you guys are best friends. And he, well, you're right, but <laughs> I still think he's, we would talk, we talked during that time. And for the most part, I listened because I know how hard it is your first time. And I just let him talk. And he was telling me, everybody was telling him what he needed to do. And, and he said, man, I'm not doing that. He said, I'm going to continue to do what I've, I've been doing. I'm going to stay steady. And that's what he did. And he got the, the team playing and he, he was missing Ingram for a while. Didn't have Zion. They made a trade, um, playing two bigs. I mean, there's a lot there. I watch them a lot because I, I care about them. So I think he's done an unreal job. I don't sit around grading coaches. That is, that's not my thing. And I'm absolutely biased towards Willie, except when we play them. But I, I think he's done a really good job there. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.